Well, I've been playing the organ now for about 38 years. I started off on the piano, then moved on to the electronic organ, then the church organ, and then finally the theatre organ. The building where we're seated in today has been here in this form for about 25 years now. Um, it was originally built as an agricultural building for rearing pigs in at the time. Um, and then it was used as a calf rearing shed for about 40 years until I bought the Compton organ about 25 years ago and then we converted it into the building that you can see today. The cinema seats that we've got here came from the Regal Cinema Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire. The Compton organ uh, is unique in a sense that it was the very last Compton Theatre organ built by the John Compton Organ Company and installed in a cinema in the United Kingdom. It opened on the 2nd of September 1939 at the Plaza Cinema at Crosby near Liverpool. The following day World War II was declared and the theatre was closed as a war precaution. So a world record had been established that the theatre had opened and closed in one day. The organ then remained in the cinema until 1974. It was then removed to a private house in Chester. It stayed there until 1988. When I purchased the organ, we dismantled it and removed it here to Belper and then converted the building and reinstalled the organ, having the opening concert in September 1989, exactly 50 years from when it was originally opened at Crosby. Well, playing the organ is quite varied. Uh, I still play in church for church services, weddings and so forth, but I also spend quite a bit of time travelling up and down the country playing concerts uh, and for dancers as well on different organs. Uh, the sort of music often played at these events I would uh, categorise as being sort of light, easy listening music, songs from the shows, marches, light classical pieces and some modern music as well that can be played on the organ. Uh, in addition to playing the organ as a solo instrument, I also do concerts jointly with uh, a lady who lives here in Belper by the name of Lynn Riley. She's a very nice singer and she comes along and sings at some of the concerts as well, for which I accompany her on the organ. The organ chamber is the heart of the organ and this is located behind the organ console. This is where all of the organ pipes are located as well as a full set of percussion instruments. And this is where all the sounds of the organ are generated. We have two blowers supplying wind for the organ and there's about seven and a half horsepower required to drive the organ when it's up and running.